Today we're going over an incredibly basic and easy way to animate a static esports graphic using one tool in After Effects. We'll be using design thinking and principles to show that animation does not need to be complicated to be effective if you're utilizing it the right way. To start off, I have a Photoshop file here that you can download in the description. I have it sectioned off into categories based on how I group my information together. My hierarchy for this image is divided into five pieces, the photo, teams, subtext, sidebar, and background elements. It's important to define your hierarchy and groupings before animating as it gives you a clear path on how to time your animation. After editing and saving your Photoshop file, you can import it to After Effects by taking the file and dragging it into your program. Make sure import kind is set to composition and editable layer styles is selected. In your project panel, double click on your composition to open it and what you'll see is that your layers will be grouped and divided similar to your Photoshop file. Here's what my composition settings look like. I'm working with 24 frames per second and my composition is 10 seconds long. Usually my esports graphics are around five seconds, but I like to add a few seconds of buffer in case it ends up being longer. I'm going to color code these layers just so it's easier to tell each one apart for the tutorial. Just like in design, hierarchy and visual flow is really important for creating a balanced animation. I want the photo to be the star of this graphic since it's the largest, so I'll start by selecting the layer and typing P to bring up its position. Hover over position, right click, and select separate dimensions. This will allow you to change the speed of your animation, so it's important to make sure you do this first. Move forward one second in your timeline and place a keyframe on the X position. Then go back to your starting point and drag your photo to the left until it's fully out of frame. You'll see if you play your animation now, it moves at a linear speed. To fix this, highlight both of your keyframes and right click, go to keyframe assistant and select easy ease or press F9 on your keyboard. Click on the graph editor icon above your layers and move the handlebars of your keyframes until they look like this. This is telling After Effects that we want the speed of our animation to start off fast and then slow down until it reaches its resting point. Now highlight and copy your two keyframes from your image and paste it at the start of your other layers, leaving out the black box and background layers. Now we have more movement, but the animation still feels flat and predictable. We can solve this by offsetting our layers and moving them forward two frames at a time. This will separate our groupings we defined earlier and create artificial depth where the numbers in the background look as if they're behind the logos and text. Since everything in the animation is currently moving from one side, I included a black shape behind the image to establish a separate movement that contrasts with what we've made so far. Using the same position method, I'll move this shape from the right to the left side of our screen to make our movement feel less repetitive and predictable. With just the position tool, we've quickly gone from a static graphic to an animated one with depth and dimension. You can easily expand on this using other simple tools in After Effects to make dynamic animations that create additional value in your work. If you need to export your finished product, I have a tutorial on how I export these graphics here. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you in the next video.